Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, one of you, Susan, you asked me to show you this stitch. You found this stitch on the pattern family, the pattern family crochet YouTube channel, and you didn't understand. It was a little bit confusing. So I looked at it. I never saw this stitch. So I looked and I uh, did one sample. The stitch, it's basically two rows repeat. That's it. But yeah, I can see why it looks confusing. Yeah. So this is the back of the, the work and this is the front. The stitch is very easy, goes really fast. And I'm going to show you here if you're going to like something, but I'm going to show you a little bit later. Something if some of you might like different. Okay, this stitch works with multiples of four. So I chain my multiples of four and now we're going to skip the first chain. We're going to skip the first chain. Let me put a little bit of camera. Okay. So we're going to skip the first chain and in the second chain from the hook, yarn over the hook, we're going to go in there and we're going to do a half double crochet, but we're not going to finish that double crochet. So leave the loop there. Yarn over the hook, move to the next chain and do a half double crochet. Again, don't finish the double crochet. So you have three loops, yarn over the hook, move to the next chain. So in the beginning, after we skip the first chain, the next three stitches, we're going to, three chains, we're going to do a double crochet without finishing the double crochet. So we have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull the yarn through all four loops, then chain three. Okay, now, as you can see, we have some loops here, you know, these ones here. So we're going to go behind, we're going to put the crochet hook, yarn over the hook, we're going to go behind those loops. Yeah. So pull up a loop and then do a double crochet. If you can remember the, the let's say in a way the bottom row, you don't finish the double crochet. The ones that you do on top, you finish the double crochet, if you can remember the, that way. So in total, we have to go three times behind this loops here, these lines. So we went once, yarn over the hook, go back again for the second time, pull up a loop and do a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, we're going to go back again through these loops, behind these loops, and we're going to do a double crochet. So you should have three double crochets only and with a chain. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, we're going to chain, not we're going to chain, we're going to put the yarn three times over our hook, once, twice, and three times. Now, we're going to go to the next chain, this one. So we're going to do double crochets in the next four chains without finishing the double crochet. So you go into the next chain and you do a double crochet, leave all this on the hook, yarn over the hook, move to the next chain and do a double crochet. Again, you do not finish, you leave it like that. Yarn over the hook, move to the next chain and do another double crochet. So we did only three, one, two, three. We have one more to, to do. So we're going to do a double crochet. So you should have seven loops on your hook. Two, four, six, seven. Now yarn over and we're going to pull the yarn through the first five loops. Two, four, five. So pull the yarn through the five, you have three loops remaining, yarn over the hook and we're going to do a double crochet. But this time, that's why I said the, the row on top in a way, it's not, it's the same row but let's say the triangle we're going to finish the double crochet. Yeah. Okay, so we did that, so now we have to go three times, yarn over the hook, we have to go three times behind these four loops. You have here one loop ignore that. This is what I wanted to show you a little bit later. So one, two, three, four loops. So you go behind those loops, pull up a loop and then do a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, we're gonna go for the second time behind those lines and we're gonna do a double crochet. But I have to say when you do this uh, row, let's say on top of this, be generous when you pull to make the, the double crochet, like now when you 
do this for the third time make sure that you pull enough and it's the same height yeah? and you do a double crochet so we did three double crochet and with that one here the four so now again we're gonna yarn over three times one two three move to the next chain we worked in this one you move to the next chain and in the next in the next four chains one two three four we're gonna do double crochets yeah so you move to the next chain do a double crochet leave all these loops there yarn over the hook move to the next chain double crochet yarn over the hook move to the next chain I'm gonna do a well unfinished double crochet so we did three yarn over the hook move to the next chain and do a double crochet now you should have seven loops on your hook yeah so yarn over and pull the yarn through first five loops okay and now you're gonna do a double crochet and behind these loops one two three four we're gonna do three double crochets so yarn over the hook go behind those lines and then do a double crochet so we have to go two more times behind these lines yeah it's very easy it's not it's not difficult at all so you go behind one more time and do a double crochet so you have three double crochet behind these lines and this double crochet here so now you should be left with four chains one two three four so we're going to do the same yarn over the hook three times and we're going to move to the next chain and we're going to start in the we're going to do in fourth chains double crochet without finishing the double crochet yeah. so you leave it there yarn over the hook move to the next chain do a double crochet again leave the loop there move to the next chain double crochet yarn over the hook in the last chain we're gonna do a double crochet so in, that's why it's multiples of four so we have seven loops on the hook yarn over and pull the yarn to the first five loops one two three four and five and you have three left on your hook yarn over and pull the yarn to the first two loops and the last two yeah. now yarn over the hook now we're gonna go behind these lines one two three and the fourth one here yeah this one you see there are five in there one two three four five but we're gonna go we're gonna skip the one on top and you're gonna go through this four yeah so you pull up a loop and you do a double crochet so we have to do three double crochets in there behind those lines so we go for the second time we did one now the second double crochet and now the third one in total you should have four double crochets only three of them are made behind these lines so now we're gonna chain one so this is one row <coughs> and the next row that I'm gonna do are the rows that you're gonna repeat on and on and on so you chain one turn your work and in each stitch we're gonna place single crochet so the first stitch is here single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch the same single crochet the next stitch so, uh, single cro crochet in each stitch until we finish this row yeah it's yeah in the beginning I was like what is going on with the stitch but yeah after you pay attention and you yeah well I'm trying to to do with this big hook that you can see the the stitch the lines the all that I don't know the name of uh, the the lady that uh, she has the the channel the pattern so then last stitch it's here you're gonna do a single crochet and in this chain well yeah in here on the top here you're gonna do a single crochet 
I can get in with this fat one. So you're gonna do a single crochet in there. Now chain three. One, two, and three. We're gonna repeat the first row, this one. So now we're gonna do double crochets without finishing them in the next three. So not this stitch here, in the next one, two, and three. Yeah. So yarn over the hook, into the next stitch here, we're gonna do a double crochet, don't finish it, yarn over the hook, move to the next stitch, double crochet, yarn over the hook, double crochet in that stitch. So you have three, yarn over the hook, pull the yarn through all those four loops, then chain three, and now we're gonna go behind the loops. <coughs> so yarn over the hook, go behind the loops, and do three double crochets in there. So one, two, and go back again between, uh, bef you know, those lines and do the third. So you should have, with the chain, you should have four double crochet. One, two, three, four. Now yarn over the hook twice. One, two, three. Not twice, three times. So now we're gonna move. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do four double crochets without finishing them. So you move to the next stitch, do a double crochet, don't finish, leave all that. The second double crochet, the third, and the fourth. So you should have seven loops on your hook, two, four, six, seven. Pull the yarn through the first five loops. Yeah. Then yarn over the hook and do a double crochet. And now yarn over the hook, we're gonna go behind these loops. So one, two, three, and fourth. And this one, the last one, there. So pull up a loop and do a double crochet. So we did one, so we have to go two more times behind these lines. So you go behind those lines and do the second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and we go for the third time. So again, yarn over the hook three times. And now you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and you're gonna do four double crochets without finishing them. Leave there the hook, the loop, move to the next stitch, double crochet, yarn over the hook, move to the next stitch, double crochet, and in the last one double crochet. So we have seven loops, pull the yarn to the first five loops and then do a double crochet yarn over the hook and we're gonna go behind five four loops one two three and four so you put your crochet hook behind those lines and then do a double crochet yarn over the hook go back again through behind those lines and do the second double crochet yarn over the hook and go back again behind those lines and do the third double crochet. And again you're gonna put the yarn over your hook three times and then you have one, two, three, four. Last uh, four stitches. So that you go into the next one and we're gonna do the same. Four double crochet without finishing them. So if I move too fast you can slow down the video. Any of you that I move too fast. I will sound weird, but well, that's fine. <laughs> so you have seven loops, pull the yarn through all, well, not all, five loops, and then you have three loops, pull the yarn through the first two, the last two, yarn over the hook, and now we're gonna go behind these four loops. You're gonna go into that, and you're gonna do a 
double crochet go again behind those loops and do the second double crochet so the one in the on the bottom let's say you don't finish the, the the double crochet but the ones here on top you finish them so we have to do one more double crochet mm -hmm. so now you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna do a single crochet in each stitch across the row this is the but you know if you want to to do for example to go through the five loops yeah like in here these two I don't know if you can see these two I choose to go through all the the five loops here not only four so you might like maybe the way it looks kind of twisted a little bit I don't know the rest of them they're made with only through the four loops but these two I made them I did through the five loops so I picked the one on the top so I don't know if you want which one you like but it looks a little bit like the the rhomb stitch when I saw the the thumbnail on that on the channel I thought it's the the rhomb but no it's not but it looks a little bit similar so yeah, if you like to, to do this, any of you, give it a try. I think it's nice for a show. And you can do this stitch. Well, this is kind of loose because I uh, this yarn recommends 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, but here I am with 7.0, just to make sure that you can see the, the stitches and the lines and all that. So yeah, this is the the stitch. Well, it's not difficult. It's very, very easy. So, like I said, if I move too too fast, you can um, you can slow down the the video, the speed of the video, and uh, maybe you will understand better if I move too too fast. So yeah, this is the stitch. It looks nice. It's pretty, but I never saw this stitch before. So I was surprised to see this one. So yeah, well, give it a try for for to this stitch, and if you like, you can go to the the pattern family and check her channel. She has so many many stitches, and you can uh, maybe you find something that you like in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good day.